Hello and welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this amazing liquid smear effect using just a couple of expressions and this animation is animated just with two keyframes so it's once you have it rigged it's super easy to animate. So let's get right into it. So I have my main composition here, it's just a composition at 30 fps and with a resolution of 1500 by 1500 so the first step is to create uh, the path that you want to to animate the the, the smearing so uh, let me just do that very quickly okay so now we have the path created as you can see i have I have no fill on this shape layer and I just have a stroke uh, at 70 pixels. You can, you can make this the width that you like. Um, after, this, after creating this uh, shape layer, I'm, I'm going to call it a main point because this will be the main layer that we are going to, to animate. So the next step that you want to do is to add a trim path to the, to the content, to the shape layer that you created so let me just click here and add a trim path so we want to set this layer as a circle not as a complete path so I'm going to reduce the the end point just to 1 or maybe like 0 0.5 to be more specific and now I'm going to set the the stroke to round cap and round join so I have a perfect circle as you can see it's not quite a circle yet ju that's because I want to you have to reduce even more the the end so we have a circle here and now if we animate the offset the the circle will will animate along the the path right okay so this will be the main animation the offset let me set this to zero and we're going to duplicate the main point and call, set it to the bottom and call this point, call this layer, sorry, smear one. Okay. So as this will be the main offset, I want this smear to follow this offset, right? So I'm going to parent it. Let me come here to trim paths. Uh, you have to alt click on the uh, stopwatch of the offset and then grab the pig whip tool to the main point offset right so now if i move this offset this uh, point will move to along with it right okay okay so now to create this uh, the smear you have to set the the end of, of the smear one to 100 and then we're going to reduce the start the, sorry to increase the start so if we increase the start and animate the the offset as you can see we have this uh, this mirror following the main point so just to difference these two layers I'm going to reduce the the stroke width to 50 of the smear one and then I want the smear to increase uh, with the with the speed of the movement of the of the main point okay so we are going to apply another expression on the start uh, on the start uh, property of the trim paths on the smear one point layer sorry let me alt click and then we're going to create a new variable called uh, and let's call it main offset and then we are going to parent to the uh, offset of the main point okay so we have this new variable let me just create a new line here and then what we want to do is we want to subtract the the velocity of the of the change of on the offset from the one hand from the start property okay so we're going to as the start property when we have let me just deactivate deactivate this when we have the the start property on 100 it's as you can see we have no smear but as we reduce it the smear will increase so we want to set 100 minus main offset that velocity so now we are subtracting the velocity uh, from 100 okay but if we let me just keyframe this let me create 
as you can see we have like as the velocity is increasing rapidly the smear will be like too big so we want to reduce this value here so let me just divide it by 60 and now we have uh, this short smear okay so when the when the circle is uh, is still we will we have no smear and when the circle is moving we have a smear and as the circle moves faster this the smear will be will be longer okay so if you want the smear to be longer you can uh, just reduce this number like 50 and the smear will be longer okay so now we'll repeat the same process we'll duplicate the smear smear 2 put it on the bottom open the expressions uh, pressing e two times on the keyboard and then i want this smear to be uh, to be smaller in width okay so i'm going to set the stroke width to 25 and i want it to be longer so this means this number has to be lower than 50 let's say 25 and then we have the two smears okay and then as this layer animates we have the two smears animating with it just with two keyframes and if this layer animates faster the smears will be longer okay so now let's just apply the liquid effect to the smears you want to apply um, a turbulent displace two times so I'm just going to effect distort and search for turbulent displays. Perfect. So let's let's tweak some values here. I want to set the size maybe to a lower value like 30 and maybe increase the amount. That's not quite what I'm looking for, so let's just reduce the the size. You have to this these values will vary with the according to the stroke width that you set so you will have to play with th these values here until you are happy with the result so let's maybe increase the amount a little bit let me try this so and then I'm going to duplicate this and set the size to 2 maybe more amount a little more complexity here okay so now we have this liquid effect on the smear one now we want to copy these uh, two effects with Ctrl C or Command C if you are on macOS and let's just paste them on the smear too. And now we have the two the two the two smears with the liquid effect. Okay. Right. So I just want to apply the same effect to the main point. So we have like all a, a liquid shape. And let's just reduce the amount here because I don't quite like how it's how is this with uh, there okay perfect so now we have like this liquid effect and now we have the smears with the two smears and the smear will be getting thinner at the end of the animation okay so that's it and then let me just finish this animation I'm going to set the last keyframe to 360 and then add the expression loop out to loop between these two keyframes so now I have this animation. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Remember that you can purchase this project on my Gumroad page for just one dollar, and you can find the, these expressions on the documentation that it's linked on the description. So I hope you like it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you on the next tutorial.